ERIC, University of Oxford. Mustafa Sarek, Raisa ul Ulama, Emirates of Islamic Community, Grand Mufti of Bosnia from 1993 to 2012. Dr. Asiya Bensala Alawi, Ambassador of Large at Large of His Majesty Mohammed VI, the King of Morocco and Co-President of OSIMO. <laughs> Dr. Sandeep Paslekar, President of Strategic Foresight Group. He is the moderator for today's program. So we have a good production. So ma'am, please look here, ma'am. Thank you. I call upon Professor Dr. Sanjay B. Chordia to speak a few words. I request all the delegates to take their seats. Good evening, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank you, Strategic Foresight Group, for giving us this opportunity to organize such a wonderful global event at Surya Dutta Group of Institute campus at Surya Bhavan today on 17th of February, 2018. I think this is a historic day for us, for Pune City. I would like to welcome Honorable Vice Chancellor of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University, today's Chief Guest Ram Rajan Imbalakarji, the Speaker of Legislative Assembly of Maharashtra, all the eminent panel members and the moderator who are present on the dais, all the global personalities, global leaders and policy makers from different parts of the world all the professionals from respective institutions, corporates, my staff members, and my dear students. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you. Today is a global symposium wherein we are going to discuss various challenges of 21st century. All of us, you are aware, whatever changes have happened from 1950 till 2000, Far more than that, many changes have happened in the last 20 years. And the kind of developments which are going on, the kind of challenges what we are going to face, maybe in the field of water, environment, global warming, security, social media, education, agricultural sector, we have eminent speakers who have a vast study in all the different fields, because all these are UN nation members, and they are going to different countries and doing brainstorming and thinking what is going to be the future of the entire country, entire world, different countries, different religions, different natural resources, and different challenges we have. Today's generation, youth particularly, will get tremendous benefit of all this discussions what is going to happen. So without taking much of your time, because we want to listen to all these policy makers and global leaders, followed by that can be a few questions and answers. And entire proceedings will be recorded. 
and will be available on net for the benefit of entire community at large across the globe for all the people. Once again, I thank you very much, sir, for sparing your valuable time for addressing this August gathering, particularly our students and teaching professionals. Unfortunately, there is a less number of students and professionals available today because of the three consecutive days holidays. Today is Saturday, Sunday, and on Monday we have Maharashtra's very popular leader, Shivaji Maharaj. The Shiva Jayanti is there, so there's a Maharashtra state holiday. So three consecutive days holidays we have. In spite of that, our students, faculty members, and corporates, and professionals, and people from different strata of the society have come here only to listen to your viewpoint. What are the challenges and how to overcome these challenges and how they should face these challenges so that they become a successful citizen, they become a successful professional, they become a successful corporates in their respective field. Thank you so much. All the very best. Big round of applause from all of us. We request you to kindly give us an opportunity in the year 2019 again and we will host this program once again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Foresight Group. Thank you, everyone. All the best. Thank you so much, sir. I call upon Honorable Sri Dr. Nitin Karmarkar, Vice Chancellor Savitri Bai Phule Pune University, to speak a few words. I welcome Vishal Chorudiyaji, the Honorable State Minister of Maharashtra in the field of textile, particularly Khadi Yudhyog. Thank you, Vishalji, for coming here and placing the office. Good evening. This is, a, this is indeed a pleasure to be part of this platform, wherein uh, some important issues are getting discussed. I really don't want to stand uh, here between you and the speakers here. Uh, I, I welcome once again all of them and would like to be there listening to your thoughts. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, sir. I call upon Honorable Sri Ram Rajan Embarkar, Speaker of Maharashtra Legislative Assembly, to speak a few words. guest on the stage before me and my young friends. I am asked to speak few words which is not possible for a politician to do. In addition to that, I was a teacher. I used to teach law. And a politician and a teacher is a very risky combination for the audience. However, I must congratulate and I'm much, much obliged to be present here in a such a distinguished gathering of international policymakers. I presume that these ladies and gentlemen which we see here have abundant experience in their fields, the knowledge in their fields, which is perhaps they are the advisors of number of governments in the world. It is true that the generation of ours, we didn't have the challenges which the young generation of the world is going to face. So I think it is more important for you because there are the challenges before you, not before us. So not taking much of your time, I welcome these guests in this city because I was born in Pune, I was educated in Pune. 
this is a city which has got a historical background as well as it is a hub of modern education in India which is known internationally. I again, I am grateful to Sanjay Pasrikarji and his team for inviting me here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I request Dr. Mustafa Serik to come upon the dais as he would like to present a book to the president of Suradatta Gopak Institute. Thank you so much, all the dignitaries, the audience. I take your leave as I call upon Dr. Sandeep Paslekar to take charge for the panel discussion. Thank you, Kimaya. And uh, I want to thank uh, Ram Rajek. Naik Nimbarkar, our uh, not only honorable but beloved uh, speaker of the upper house, uh, vice chancellor, uh, chairman of Suryadatta, and Sachin Itkar, who is the man responsible for bringing us all together. <laughs> Mr. Lamborghini is here. She's, uh, she's gone there. I want to ask you a question about Lamborghini. How many of you would like to have a free Lamborghini car? <laughs> now, I'm going to request Mr. Lamborghini to give a free Lamborghini car to any student of Surya Dutta on one condition. Whoever wins the Nobel Prize for Original Research in the next 10 years or from you, I request Mr. Lamborghini to give a free Lamborghini car to the Nobel Prize winner. <laughs> so see, now uh, you, have a, uh, you have a challenge before you and you have a promise uh, from our guest of honor of today. Uh, and uh, whoever doesn't get a Nobel Prize, but whoever comes out with a very strong, very strong uh, uh, success in coming out with original research in any field, original research in any field, which is recognized in a peer-reviewed journal, which is recognized the world over. For that student, I offer on behalf of Lord Allardyce a visit to House of Lords and a lunch in the House of Lords. But you have to come with uh, original research in the next three years. <laughs> John, you offer a lunch at House of Lords? Whoever comes with original research? OK, I don't want to make too many promises. <laughs> we will, uh, where is, uh, yeah, Asya. So you know all the, you know all the panelists uh, by now. Lord Allardyce was the first speaker of the Northern Ireland Parliament. He is at Oxford University now. Uh, Mustafa Cherik has been the Grand Mufti of Bosnia Herzegovina and uh, now he's Grand Mufti Emeritus, like we have Professor Emeritus. Uh, we have Danilo Turk, who was President of Slovenia, Assistant Secretary General of the UN. And we have Ais uh, Asia uh, ben, ben Saleh Alui. She's from Morocco. Now, because you are students of Surya Dutta and other universities in Pune, you know that Mor Morocco is in North Africa. If you were students of Trump University, you would have thought that Morocco is on Mars. <laughs> so we will start with uh, Asia. I have a question. You have a mic? Yes. What do you think are the two most significant challenges in the 21st century 
that you can mention in less than two minutes? Well, good evening, everybody, and thank you very much for having me here. It's a real honor. Well, among the challenges, which are really many, I will focus only on two, which are probably the two mega trends that are imposing their impact on the whole of humanity. I'm mentioning, of course, in the first place, the extreme speed of the technological change, and of course, what impact it will have on humanity starting with the problem of jobs, because everybody fears that the technological change is going to destroy jobs. This is true, but at the same time, it will create so many others, but of a very different nature, and posing a tremendous challenge to humanity, namely education. How are you going to educate your kids when we know that more than that the whole youth that is born today will be practicing a job which does not exist yet. So how do you cater, how you prepare skills for the unknown? So this is a tremendous challenge for education, which is central. Uh, the second trend I would like to mention and which imposes itself as well and this is what we are sure of, is the extreme rise of uncertainties. We cannot be sure of anything else. And never Montaigne, the French philosopher of the 16th century, has been so present and so actual with us today. Because all the prospects and all we are trying to plan and to prepare are sometimes